little squawker and welcome to my channel. This week I got this cake order for a cricket bat. I always wanted to make one. So I decided to tape so you can see the process. So it's a very quick video, but I hope you enjoy. Especially because we made these gorgeous little cupcakes in here with the leftover. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for your support. So the wood I'm using for the cricket bed is a 9mm pick and that is for the cricket bed and then for the shelves I'm weighing a little bit thicker with a 12mm uh, just because I'm going to insert a screw there so I need to be a little bit thicker so it doesn't split. I basically put the cricket bed on top of the wood, I trace it so I have the marks in here and I cut it and at the top I'm going to add just a, a wood dale at the top and I'm going to hot glue the little screw there to stay in position and uh, then you need a little bit of styrofoam to put it at the bottom. Remember it's against gravity so you need a little bit at the bottom there and you will need the bracket of course push the bracket a little bit so I give a little bit the angle and you can push it as much as you want and then you put your board in front of your bracket mark where the holes has to go you mark and you make the holes. It is a really good idea to pred drill now. I choose where to put my shell to coincide with the screw that you put at the back. So it's no contact of the screws with the cake. So that's how I choose where to put uh, my shelves. I have other things like contact paper. I found this contact paper. Uh, that is like it look like grass is perfect for what I want right now So that's the one I'm going to cover my board as you can see this board is very thick And the reason is that is because I'm gonna have to screw uh, This to the board so I need you know a, a very good thick board for a good grip because it's gonna be a lot of weight there and I don't know how far this cake you have to travel. So I always start by covering the board, uh, all my boards. Um, so in here I uh, decide to put a little piece of foam core on the board because I want to cut it where the bracket is gonna go so you don't see the bracket.
to now put the cake there. So as you can see, I have a 90 inch square cake. Uh, and I could go with a lot of less, but uh, as you can see, this is not a thick uh, cake, all right? It's gonna be a very thin cake. So I decided to use uh, a lot of the leftover to make mini cupcakes too. I cut the cake on the middle because I have three centimeters in here in high. And so by cutting my uh, cake here on the middle, I got the three centimeters I need. So I'm going to save half of this cake for my cupcakes. And it is half in here, that it is already the semi high as my cake, is what I'm gonna use for my cricket bed. So I'm going to put a ganache, and my ganache is three by one. The ray two. So it dries really, really fast because there is a lot of more chocolate and I'm using dark cooking chocolate. chocolate. So my chocolate in here is basically like he, my cement to what is going to keep everything in position and it together. So it's very important to be very generous with your ganache. And then uh, it's 10 centimeters thick. You, you can go as thick as you want. I'm gonna make it, uh, put a ganache on the layers. So I'm going to start from here. Cut a little bit of a ganache at the bottom. The next one. And remember, keep all the little pieces that you're taking out because we're going to make some uh, dessert, some cupcakes. Exactly a 90, half of a 90 inch cake we fit in here on our cricket bed and we have the half of the um, 90 inch cake to make our cupcakes. Uh, it should fit around 30 people and I cut this cake exactly the way I just lay the cake. 16 people would eat from the bed and then we have cupcakes that we will make. So as you can see in here, I build a little bit of cake there to build a little bit of a angle there because if you look at real cr cricket bed, they have an angle there on the top. So that's what I'm trying to achieve there, that angle. And then now I'm going to ganache. So that's the crumble part. And the reason why I didn't put the handle yet is because I want to fit on, put on a refrigerator the cake. If I put the handle, I will not be able to put on a refrigerator. So do the first layer of a ganache, what do we call the crumble, and then refrigerate, and then we can put a more ganache and it's move this a little bit more.
it has been on a refrigerator for a little bit so the best thing to remember to get like a very realistic look here would it be to not make it the sides too big and uh, the way I do always because I've been doing a lot of cricket batches at the moment is I put my ruler and my ruler is one inch thick 2.5 centimeters and I put my ruler against the my bed and on the angle so you get the nice uh, belly that cricket beds have so if you remember this they are to have the ruler there and go on an angle like that you end up with a very nice finish bed and you get the belly that the beds usually have and it will look super realistic Okay, so to paint the cricket bed, I just mix a little bit of the brown and the yellow and I made very liquid, as you can see. So I am a big fan of edible image and they're super easy to cut just with a with a blade you can take it to your local cake supplier and they can print it for you so to apply the image I'm just gonna put a little bit of a tie loose glue and I decided to break down the image So you will fold a little bit better. and you can even make it interactive if you have a, a better bracket on the back otherwise it's the same way that we did it our violin so to screw I just put in position you can even hot glue and then you could even use a little plastic smoother to give a little pressure for you on the back but is that it and it gets super strong
the uh, cricket ball it, it joins together by two separate parts and it has all these, these stitches everywhere so it's up to you if you wanted to join the two balls together so remember I used the leftover I froze and if you wanted to join the two balls together just with a little bit of shock glue and cover in one go is up to you I um, I actually for because it has that stitcher there I thought maybe it would be easier just to um, cover the, the balls sitting there on the table like that I got a stamp that say happy birthday and that is a little trick that I learned if you put a little bit of um, vegetable shortening all over your bowl there we get a little bit of um, gold dust and you sprinkle Go dust it on your stem. And then you put on top of your cake with a little pressure. And you get a mark on your bowl. And if you remember of my little cupcakes that I put the leftover inside the here and then you put a little ball on the top um, you can put a little bit of chocolate for them to glue together so. on the back I thought it would be really cool to add a, another element to the cake make it even more cool more interest 